This is part 2 of the Weapon Explorer tutorials. First off we're doing textures. Now my DDS plugin has broken with 3ds Max because I'm using it with Windows 7. If you get this problem as well and unable to drag them over, follow these easy steps. If you have DDS texture files, put them as PNG texture files and follow these steps. Click on Material Editor and you have the first box. Click Diffuse, Bitmap, get your texture and open it. Then click Go to Parent, then Standard, Eclipse MTL, keep old material as submaterial, and there we go. If you want to go back and apply the texture to this, click on the Standard and click this and then this little checkered box and there's your texture to go back to the Eclipse MTL click go to parent if you want to go that one step further you can add a normal map and a specular map which will improve the quality of the weapon to do this click on the standard click on the specular and you can do bitmap for the bump or the normal go to the bump click that and click the normal map or normal bump as 3ds max put it and I'll choose either 20 to 30 on the bump depending on the quality of your normal map if you want to add an alpha map go to the opacity click on and you can do bitmap as well then just simply go back up and if you've chose to do an alpha map, I'd advise clicking the 8-bit alpha blend or your model will look a bit weird. Also on the export, if you don't want the MTL to be labelled as 3 default, just simply click in there, delete and I'll call this S18 solo zone. So when that exports, you'll easily be able to find the MTL and it won't look a bit stupid. On to object properties. Highlight the weapon and right click and find object properties. Don't worry that's my video recorder that's doing that. In the user defined put exactly what I put common mesh enter type equals actor enter model equals entity slash inventory slash dash weapon slash then put in the name of your weapon the folder will be named by this name and also the DEF file so mine is the S18 Solithern, then enter and ID equals rifle. If it's a machine gun, put it as M gun. If it's SMG, put it as an SMG. And you will have to find out what the ID will be if you have a different weapon to what those I've mentioned. And select OK. If you have a weapon with multiple pieces, um, select them all and then go to group and then select group. This will give all of them the object properties and I'll advise you to do it before adding what I've just put on this weapon. This is the end of part two.